What is up everyone, today I'm showing you my new favorite MP7 class setup. I use this if I want to play an aggressive playstyle and push multiple people at the same time. This MP7 class setup is made for range, recoil control, but also without losing too much ADS speed. I've seen quite some zero recoil builds that are pretty good, but the ADS speed is a little too slow for my liking. But before I'll show you the MP7, if you enjoy these class setup videos, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel, it would mean a lot to me. So, my beautiful MP7. First of all, I will not be using a scope. The MP7 has one of the best iron sights in the game in my opinion. For the people who do not know, every blueprint has a different iron sight. So if your iron sight does not look like mine, it's because of the different blueprint. I'm using the mud drawer. This is the secret blueprint you can unlock if you open Bunker 11. So if you want to unlock that, you can watch my Bunker 11 guide video, it's in the description. But now, onto the exact build. The first attachment I'm using is the monolithic suppressor, the best muzzle attachment in Warzone, increasing the damage range by 7 meters and also gaining sound suppression. The best attachment in the game, trust me. Next up is the FSS recon for even more damage range, an increase in bullet velocity and some extra recoil control. This is the biggest range buff for your MV7. The extra recoil control will be a great benefit as well, so definitely a very good attachment. Up next is the Commando Foregrip. This will buff the recoil stabilization and increasing the aiming stability. If you like the Ranger Foregrip or the Merc Foregrip a little bit better, you can choose that as well. But I prefer the Commando Foregrip for some horizontal recoil control. And next up is the 60 round max for the max amount of bullets. Some people like the 50 round max because you get less of a decrease in EDS speed and movement speed, but the difference is only around one frame of ADS speed. So I believe the 60 round max is the best option. And finally, the stippled grip tape to increase the overall mobility even more. A lot of people will use something else to get some extra recoil control, but I love to have the MP7 a little bit more snappy and fast. So this is my MP7 build. It has almost near max range, with great stability and good mobility. I use this with EOD, Ghost and Amped perks, with an RPG as a secondary. To have the most success with this build, play to the advantages you have. Be fast and make it as close of a battle as you can. Stay away from the long range fights, because you will have a disadvantage in those fights against Grawls, M4s and M13s for example. I hope you enjoyed this video and I suggest you try this class setup and see for yourself. If you did, let me know in the comment section how many kills you got and if you got the win as well. And as always, if you're new, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.